I've been touting custom kernels in Linux for a while for increasing like gaming and just everyday desktop experience. Well, I got this comment. And I gotta say, the evil skeleton, you have a cool name. And I was unaware of anything called Xanmod, which is a, another custom kernel. Uh, Xanmod is pretty cool and something I really wanted to do, but instead of just taking this at face value, I thought, you know what? It's time I spend two to three hours, load up the Pharonix test suite, and give this thing a full benchmark, uh, or at least a benchmark in one game, uh, a AAA title game. We're gonna be using Shadow of the Tomb Raider for the actual benchmark on this. But we're gonna do the mainline kernel, which is basically the official one released by the Linux team. The custom kernel from the Licorix team, which you've seen in a lot of past videos. And then let's go over the Xanmod uh, kernel, which I'll actually pull up their webpage right now. And uh, we'll jump on the desktop and start looking at this to see which one will perform the best when it comes to uh, this specific game. I do live stream every Monday and Friday, so if you have a question for me, be sure and stop in to my Twitch channel and ask me live. And if you'd like to check out these streams after the fact, you can always head over to Chris Titus Tech Streams and check out my entire archive over there. So the Xan Mod kernel is much like licorice or the, the regular uh, mainline kernel. However, it has some cool features, a lot of performance tweaks for us desktop users. So very cool. Another thing it has that uh, a lot of the other ones don't, or at least uh, the binaries right out of the gate, you can always compile and make these things available. But I thought it was kind of cool in here was it does have uh, not only the stable and LTS releases, but it also has real-time kernel. Real-time kernel is really cool, specifically if you're doing any type of streaming or video production. Uh, when you have audio and you're syncing those up, you want, at the very least, a low latency kernel and probably a real-time kernel to really make sure you don't have uh, that gap happen. I've had it on the regular kernel where I'd be recording and then all of a sudden I'd start getting a bigger latency as the stream went on or, or what have you. And you kill that with a real-time kernel. And it's cool that they have it. So I might actually you know, put this on my actual stream PC and try it out and see if it's any better than the actual low latency kernel I'm using right now. But the actual install process is very much the same. You simply just copy this entire command, paste this in, this will add their repository, and then you just do an apt update and install Linux Xanmod. So with all this said, let's get into the actual benchmark of the Xanmod. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and showcase how I set up Pharonix Test Suite. Again, I only did Shadow of the Tomb Raider as I only have a couple hours to really do all the benchmarking. So I love to do, you know, a massive benchmark, but those take days and a lot of times to actually run. So we're gonna be doing this mainly over gaming. So uh, we're not doing any kernel tests or things like that, uh, where you'd see like maybe a workload and. Uh, that's not really what this is about. It's more about that home desktop user that's gonna be playing like a AAA title on their Linux machine. Now, as far as expectations here, uh, he did say Licorice performed worse. I kind of didn't like that in the comment just because I had problems with the vanilla kernel in Debian and I switched it out to the Licorix kernel and I didn't have any issue after I, I did that kernel. Uh, I was getting a lot of stuttering in, I think it was Shadow of War. Uh, it was another AAA title that uh, was giving me issues. Uh, so when I switched out the kernel, a lot of the stuttering and all that kind of dropped off and I didn't have any issues. So with all that said, let's get over and actually start the benchmark. When it comes to this, uh, I wanted to do a full benchmark between all three kernels, the mainline kernel, the Xanmod kernel, and then also the Licorice kernel. But I wanna go ahead and just kinda of show you the, how I do the benchmarks. That way you know exactly what you're getting. I'm doing it on a, my newest AAA game that's Linux native. Uh, so Shadow of the Tomb Raider is what I'm using for this benchmark, as that's a pretty new game and it has a lot of graphics in it. And I think it would be a good benchmark for today's video. And kinda of give us a, a bearing. Does the kernel really matter that much on gaming? So. We'll do a Neo fetch right now. You'll see that I'm running the mainline kernel right here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and swap this out to Licorice and start with that kernel and uh, start the benchmark with it. So we'll just go to sudo reboot. All right, here's my boot screen. You'll see I have Xan mod, uh, the generic kernel, which is the main line, and then Licorice. So we'll start with Licorice and we'll just work our way up and do a test on every single one of these kernels and see who comes out on top. All right, before we start out with, let's just do another Neo fetch just to make sure we're now on that kernel, and we are. So now we can actually do our performance test. So we'll do Pharonix test suite for this, as they're the de facto standard in uh, all of testing and benchmarking. Pretty much uh, no matter what you're running, whether it's Linux or Windows, Pharonix does typically the best job. So we'll do run, and then we're going to do shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, I don't want to spend eight hours doing all these benchmarks, so we're only going to be testing in 1080p. We're going to be only testing on the highest settings to put as much tax as we can on our system. And then we're going to be doing a blend of uh, temporal and sub-pixel anti-aliasing. So we'll go ahead and do four for this one. And then we're going to go ahead and save the test results. We're going to call it XanMod test one. And we're going to go ahead and flip through these and switch out our kernel on each one of these. Now, uh, this uh, final test result, I'll put in PDF display, walk you through everything I have in my system. And that way you can get an apples to apples comparison. So we'll do that. Uh, right now, I've already put XanMod mainline in there. And now we're going to do Licorix. And it's going to be 5.6.14, I believe, is our kernel. And we'll go ahead, save that. And we'll leave the description the same. This is going to go through and run. Uh, it actually runs four trials on Shadow of the Room Tomb Raider. Uh, uh, because it always disregards the first one. So with that, uh, I'll let this run. And uh, we'll get through pretty much all of the trials. Now to start out with here, I did go ahead and throw Mango HUD on the top right here, uh, just so you can see what it's doing CPU wise, uh, VRAM wise, and then just kind of get an apples to apples. So you just don't see FPS in the top left because that sometimes doesn't tell the whole story as frame rate spikes can happen and other things. So I'm just gonna go ahead, speed all this up uh, and we'll circle back around and kind of have a printout of all the results here at the end. Now, as far as the actual benchmarking results here, I do want to say I'm using a Ryzen 7 2700 8 core 16 thread. Uh, I am using an AMD RX 580, and I'm using just the LLVM compiler, not the newer ACO compiler that would give me a little bit better frames per second, uh, as I wanted to be more generalized, more of what the average person would be using on this test result. Uh, but everything else is pretty much standard as I am using uh, an Ubuntu base for this test. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's scroll down and see what our results are. And here we go. This was kind of a surprise. And honestly, the margin of error here is just so, so close between uh, the Xan mod and Licorix. They're, they're so close in performance between the max and the actual uh, average frame times here. Oh, I, I, I got to tell you, I was really shocked to see how close Xanmod and Licorix was. Licorix beat it, I guess, by 0.1 frames per second. <laughs> and all this is within a margin of error, so it's hard to tell if I kept running these results what would happen as each one of these results took about 20 to 30 minutes to run on this system. So one of these results, it would run four passes. Uh, the first pass, it would get negated and thrown away. And then the rest of the three would be average to create these, these FPS results. Now, if you see here, as far as the normalization goes, you can see pretty much what you got. Uh, Ligorix had uh, not that much deviation, which is good. Standard error, pretty low. 
Uh, the Xan mod had some really interesting results as far as its deviation was the lowest, and the, the standard error was also the lowest as well. So the Xan mod was very, very stable. Uh, now you saw the mainline kernel had the wildest fluctuations in the game, uh, so it wasn't, I think I could run this a couple more times and maybe get a re different result as we did see a lot of deviation all the way into like 1.1 range to where it wasn't that normalized. Now, as far as the results themselves, uh, I was really pleased to see the custom kernels really coming out ahead of the mainline. But then again, the mainline was still running one subversion back. Uh, both Licorix and Xanmod was at uh, 5.6.14 and the main line was at 5.6.13. So that may have had an effect on its performance uh, and the deviation uh, was so high on the main line. So I don't know, uh, I might need to run these again, but uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Uh, which kernel do you use? Do you notice a big speed increase when using like a custom kernel or do you just rock the main line? Uh, because it's very interesting to see these back and forths as I do notice a difference on the custom kernel. Maybe not so much in frames per second, but definitely as far as stability goes, I feel like the custom kernels, when it comes to AAA gaming on Linux, I get a much smoother experience with a custom kernel. So with all that, a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.